Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the logo and reflection media file, you can download it from below link in the description. The After Effects template is also provided on my web store, link is given in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal, create a new composition, name it as logo reveal. For this composition, I will set time duration to 8 seconds, remaining everything will be same. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer, here you can set the color for this layer, or from effects and preset, search for fill, add fill to solid background layer. Set background color of your choice. Now from project panel, let's add the logo to the timeline. Scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Perfect. Now add the fill to logo composition. Set fill color to white. Now in effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add it to logo composition. Let's hide this background layer for some time, for Vegas, change blend mode to transparent. Let's set the outline color to white. Set segments to, just 4. Now at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for length. At start of the timeline, set length to, 0. You can see the preview. Now change segment distribution to bunched. Now at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for rotation. At start of the timeline, change rotation to 180 degrees. You can see the preview. Change hardness to 1. Change midpoint opacity to 1. Change end opacity to 1. Change midpoint opacity to 1. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this logo composition. For above logo composition, press U to view keyframes. Here we will position the end keyframes at 6 seconds. For above logo composition, change width to, 7. You can see the preview. Now let's pre-compose the logo composition individually. For below logo composition, pre-compose it. Name it as outline 1. Perfect. Now pre-compose the other composition. Name it as outline 2. Let's enable the background layer, for outline 1. In effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to outline composition. Here we need to set the outline color, set the color as shown, or you can set any color of your choice, perfect. Now for second outline composition, add fill, change fill color as shown, we will use this composition as shadow. So set color accordingly, for this composition, 
in effects and preset, search for CC Radial Fast Blur. Add it to the outline composition. Adjust the center position as shown. Set amount to near about 90. Change zoom to, brightest. You can see the preview. Now change both composition to 3D. Now press P to bring up position for both compositions, set Z position value to, 30 for both compositions. For outline 2 composition, let's create duplicate. For duplicate composition, remove the radial blur effect. Slightly change the fill color. Perfect. Now here we will create 10 duplicates of this second outline composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicates. For all created duplicate compositions press P to bring up position. Now here we will change the Z position value for all compositions, for each composition, we will keep difference of 5. For this composition, set position to, 25. For this composition, set it to, 20. 15. 10. 5. 0. Minus 5. Minus 10. Minus 15. Minus 20. Minus 25. Now again create a duplicate. Set position value to, minus 30. Now for this above outline composition, change fill color. Perfect. Now let's create a new camera. Now create a null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null. For null, press R to bring up rotation. Now at 5 seconds. Create keyframe for Y and Z rotation. Now at start of the timeline, change Y rotation to, 40 degrees, change Z rotation to, 15 degrees. You can see the preview. Now press S to bring up scale. At 5 seconds, create keyframe for scale. Now at start, change scale to, 20%. You can see the preview. Now press P to bring up position, at 5 seconds, create keyframe for position. Now at start. Slightly increase position value as shown. Now press U to view created keyframes. Select all keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now let's create another null object. Change it to 3D. Parent null 1 to null 2. For null 2, press P to bring up position, at end of the timeline, create keyframe for position. At start of the timeline, change position value as shown. You can see the preview.
here if you want you can adjust the position value for end keyframe. Perfect. Now let's create the glossy part. Create a new composition, name it as glossy logo. For this composition, from project panel, add the reflection media file to the timer line. Let's scale it. For this reflection media file, in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to media layer. Let's increase the output width and height. Select mirror edges. Here I will slightly increase the scale value. Now let's position it to the center. Perfect. Now make sure you are at start, create keyframe for tile center. Now at end of the timer line, change tile center as shown. You can see the preview. Now from effects and preset, search for radial fast blur. Add it to reflection media. Change blurriness to 35. Set iteration to 1. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose this media layer. Name it as reflection map. Perfect, now from project panel, let's add the logo composition to the timer line, for reflection map. Change track mat to, alpha mat logo. Now for reflection map, in effects and preset, search for CC glass. Add it to the map layer. For glass, in surface, change bump map to, logo. Property to, alpha. Change softness to, 25. Change height to, minus 15. Change displacement to, minus 120. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes. Add it to the map layer. For blob eyes, in blowiness, change blob layer to, logo. Change property to alpha. Set softness to, 15. Change cutaway to 10. Perfect. Now from project panel, add the logo composition to the timer line. For logo composition, change mode to add. Now press T to bring up opacity. Add 1 second, create keyframe for opacity, set it to 50%. Now at start, change opacity to, 0%. Now for logo composition, in effects and preset, search for Venetian blinds. Add it to the logo composition. Now at 1 second and 15 frames, create keyframe for transition completion. Now at start, change it to, 100%. Change direction to 45 degrees. Let's change width to 50. Feather to 10. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add this glossy logo composition to the logo reveal composition. For glossy logo, Press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second, create a keyframe for opacity, now at start, change it to, 0%. Change glossy logo to 3D. Now let's change the position, change Z position to, minus 30. Let's place this logo composition at 3 seconds and 15 frames. Perfect. Now select all the outline compositions. Press T to bring up opacity. At 3 seconds and 15 frames, 
create keyframe for opacity at 4 seconds and 15 frames. Change opacity to 0. You can see the preview. For this shadow composition, press U to view keyframes. Let's place these opacity keyframes at the end. For this outline composition, we will create keyframe for fast blur, at 3 seconds and 15 frames. Create center keyframe. Now at end of the timeline. Change center position as shown. You can see the preview. Here our long shadow part is created. Let's create a new solid. Name it as color. Press T to bring up opacity. At end of the timeline, create keyframe for opacity. Now at 7 seconds, change opacity to 0%. Perfect. Now let's add the frame. Create a new solid. Name it as frames. Make sure color is set to black. Double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1, change mask path. Set unit to percent of source. Set top to 10%. Bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our glossy 3D outline logo is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another tutorial.